Current sensitivity. Let us see. I have placed here properties also advantage. I have written the points here only, but it is written backside also. Now, what are the current sensitivity? First point. Okay. Okay, I will tell you. I tell you. It increases our current measuring limit. What happened there? See, see what happens. You see here. I take care uh, one was uh, draw here a clear figure. You see, here. it is uh, let us say a galvanometer. It is shunt resistance, uh, shunt not galvanomic resistance, and like this. What will happen if this is only instrument? What we can do? And we know that galvanometer is very high sensitive, it is highly sensitive. It is highly sensitive. It can measure current up to micro ampere only. So if we connect it directly to measure current, it will have it will measure only micro ampere current only. But if we have done one arrangement, we draw we connected here some small resistance here, very small resistance here, and so, and say it as shunt resistance. What will happen now? If we will apply here two milliampere current, what will happen? It will draw it will draw one point six. Like this, very very one point six milliampere here, and here very small current point four milliampere, like this. Of very small current will go here. So we are sending current of two milliampere, and we are measuring point four milliampere according to this because major part of it goes here. Okay, let us suppose. Let us suppose we have marked our scale like this. During the during the uh, making of the device, we are marking like this. How we are marking? We are marking like this for two milli milliampere. When we have given two milliampere, we have marked here two milliampere like this, and we know that we, it will show two milliampere when when current of zero point four milliampere current passes through this, then we will show in our calibration that current is a two milliampere. We will mark actual current passing through galvanometer will be zero point four only, but in the scale we will make, we will name it as two milliampere. As suppose we we are increasing here, suppose we are increasing here four milliampere. What will happen here? Three point two milliampere will current will go here or more, and some current let us say zero point eight milliampere goes here. Current actual current passing through the galvanometer is zero point eight only. But we will mark here not zero point eight. We will mark here four milliampere. Okay, what is happening? It is it is measuring zero point eight milliampere here. But we are we are calibrating it according to the source. But how is it possible? Because major part of the current is drawn by this circuit RS shunt resistor. That's why we are able to measure this current also using galvanometer. Okay, getting or confused till now. Please tell. Getting or confused? Please tell. Getting or confused? Should I repeat once more? Okay, okay, okay. Now this is the working principle. This is this is the uh, method. So we say that current sensitivity increases. So we can measure. A current up to high value, and we you know what is current sensitivity? We say it as like this. We know that theta is equal to earlier uh, you can see in the uh, back side which we have written I is equal to R S Y this much. Now we we know that one more thing that tau is equal to how much N I A into B, and it is equal to constant into theta. What we can write like this: theta is equal to how much? N A B constant by K into I, and we say theta by I is equal to how much? N A B by constant. This theta by I, this is called as current sensitivity. This is called as current sensitivity. Okay. Okay. This current sensitivity is increased. First of all, second is I have discussed earlier also that 
total resistance is decreased because we know in parallel the resultant resistance is always less than the resistance of the individual resistance let us see let us see one co important question okay one important question very important question it has came in your exam number of times let us see i am writing here if in a galvanometer in a galvanometer galvanometer if it has full scale reading full scale reading of full scale reading of 0.02 amp find rs so that find rs so that so that we can measure so that we can measure measure up to 1 ampere correct okay try this question very important for your exam try this in a galvanometer if it has full scale reading of 0.02 ampere then find rs so that we can measure 1 ampere correct okay how we'll do it try it i give you 10 second time try this try this question try this question got any answer so let us see very important let us see what it is telling that the full scale reading of galvanometer is 0.2 that means it can measure maximum current up to how much 0.02 that means we can pass current here only 0.02 this much current it can only measure okay but in question it is given that we have to measure 1 ampere current so we are supplying here 1 ampere current and it should measure although when we will supply 1 ampere current it should take a maximum current of 0.02 that means here current will go how much it will be here here, here it, it will be 0.08 or i will say here like that you will subtract here what you will get i think you will get here 98 i think okay this much current will go here you see you will give current of 1 ampere it will get 0.02 ampere only but in the in the scale in the scale it will show 1 ampere we will calibrate the scale according to this okay now we know here these both are in parallel uh, with both are in parallel so and here one more thing rs should be given rs should be given let us say rs is given as 80 rs is given as 80 80 ohm okay uh, rs not rg shunt resistance uh, galvanic resistance what you will say you will say parallel resistance how much 0.02 Into eighty is equal to zero point nine eight into RS. You can solve it, and you will get your answer. Okay, according to this formula, you can solve any question of this type. Okay, got it or any problem till now? Got it? Okay. Okay. Now, let us see our next concept. Our next concept. Let us see. Okay, 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 okay. I think uh, our next concept is now. Let us see. We have to convert. We have to convert galvanometer into voltmeter. Very important. This also. Okay. Very important for your exam point of view. One was ammeter galvanometer conversion to volt ammeter. and second is galvanometer into voltmeter now let us see we know this is our galvanometer and we have connected here what this is the resistance of galvanometer now to convert it into uh, uh, convert it into voltmeter what we do we connect here a very high resistance in series a very high resistance r and this becomes our voltmeter how does it mean how does it work let us see this is our galvanometer this is our voltmeter 
Now see, let us see how does it work. Now suppose we are having one load right like this. Suppose we are having one load like this, RN. Okay, we are having uh, one uh, current like uh, one source like this, and here it is. Suppose uh, one resistance like this. We are having one more resistance here. Let us see. It is uh, R1, and we voltmeter, and we have connected a voltage, and we have connected here voltmeter. What is voltmeter? Voltmeter is galvanometer. Resistance of galvanometer. Okay, and one resistance is series. We have seen here R. It is very high resistance. This is voltmeter. We have connected here to measure the voltage across it. Now we know that this resistance is very high. This resistance is very high, very high. It is very high. This R is very, very greater than. Okay, this R is very greater than. Now what will happen? The suppose current I is flowing through here. Okay, what will happen? This will have this path will have maximum resistance part because of high resistance. What will happen? A very small current will pass through here. Let us suppose I dash, and a more current, maximum part of the current will go through this part. I minus I dash. What will happen? I dash will come from through this part, and I minus I dash through this part, and they will join together to form I. Let us say it is A and it is B. What we have to find? We have to find potential difference across R. That means we can say it is V A minus V B. And my dear friends, as you know, I have told you that shortcut also. When we have to find this potential difference, what we do? We start from start from B and in that A. In that A. Now let us write. How do we? How do we can write like this? See here. From B, we are starting from B. We can write like this. See here. V is equal to. Let us say here a V dash. V dash. We can say V dash is equal to how much in a positive direction of current. So we can write like this. Plus I into R. After that, here we can write like this. Plus I into R G. Through this, we can calculate the. Voltage across the across the load resistance. Okay, or any problem getting confused? Please ask. Any problem till now? Any problem? We'll use this and solve most important and good questions. Okay. Any problem till now? You can ask any problem till now. Any problem? Now let us let us now uh, we will talk about here. Voltage sensitivity, voltage sensitivity. Actually, we have studied in current sensitivity like this. We have came to know theta by I was equal to N A B by K. Like this, we studied earlier also. Now, for voltage sensitivity, what we do? We multiply here by resistance and here also resistance. What we will get? It will get converted into voltage. We can write like this: theta by V is equal to N A B by K cap into one by R. This is the formula for voltage sensitivity. Okay, this is voltage sensitivity. Okay, now we will see some important question using this concept. Okay, now. Let us try some question. Good question. One good question. You try. I am. I uh, suppose I give you one question. We are having this circuit. It is having. Uh, suppose I am having here ten ohm resistance. Here I am only having. Uh, suppose five ohm resistance, and we have connected here. Suppose we have connected here at uh, here fifteen ohm resistance. What we are doing? I am connecting here a voltmeter. Okay, okay. It is given that R G resistance of galvanometer is. It is given like this: eighty ohm. Find, find the series. Find the series high resistance, high resistance 
stands connected connected in galvanometer try this i give you 10 second time try this you know inside this voltmeter what will be present one galvanometer one resistance of galvanometer and one series resistance what we know very high so try this try this question all of you try this question try this question i give you 10 second time try this question let us see suppose suppose current i is flowing and we know we can find this current also okay now let us see uh, one more thing let us see one more thing uh, in question it is given uh, i give you one uh, value of one current also because if i will not give the value of current the question will become more complex so let us uh, find let us given a question of a current of i give here current of uh, suppose point uh, 1 ampere uh, one not say i can say 1 ampere but uh, if suppose i say here point 8 ampere like this some small current now what will happen point 8 ampere will current flow through this path let us suppose so current i goes through this path and through this path how much current 0.8 minus i now you can write either you write here you equate the parallel current you know here the parallel voltage across this and parallel voltage across it and equate both of them you can get get your answer or you can write that also equation but best method is to write the parallel voltage and compare both of them try this this voltage will this current will be given to you because it will become complex otherwise okay try this getting any answer any answer you are getting getting any answer okay let us see then what will you see 10 into i okay it will be equal to how much okay 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 let us see okay okay i tell you i tell you i am i am knowing that you how uh, very well getting confused okay more than the two variable coming okay let us see it will be equal to 0.08 uh, not 0. Point. it is 0.8 minus i into how much rg rg is 80 plus rs r okay confusion is here there is two variable okay can we find one more variable uh, can we find one more equation here any 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 concept we can apply here yes, you can find any more any one uh, equation more equation you can find from here any one more equation you can find from here what you can write you can write like this 15 oh not volt 15 volt okay minus 5 i i is 0.8 Going here, it is I. Now uh, let us uh, write, uh, remove the I. Zero point eight. Now in this direction, we can write like this: minus ten into I is equal to zero. Solve from here, you will get the value of I. Put this I here, you will get the value of R. Getting this question or having uh, getting confused. Got it? This question or confused? Please reply all of you. Confusion. Okay, okay. I tell you once more then. Okay, see. Where are you getting confused? Let us see. From where? From where? From where? You see, from where you are getting confused? This is the value of resistance. This is the value of current. It is given. This was zero point zero point one fifteen volt given. And this is the value of uh, current we have equated. As you see here, uh, this voltage and this voltage we have equated here. You see here. What I did, I find this voltage I into R, written here I into R, and then now so that upper part. Okay, this this one I think this one this one now. Let us. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let us okay. I explain. See what is happening here. You see here what is happening. You know inside this galvanometer, inside this in the, inside this voltmeter, what we will have? What will be present inside this voltmeter? It will have one galvanometer, one resistance of that galvanometer. And we have converted it into a voltmeter. So one high resistance should be there. R. This is the whole instrument of galvanometer. Okay. This is voltmeter. We are putting here. This voltmeter contains this much material inside it. Okay. So it means inside it, this much resistance is present inside it. That's only I have written. Uh, voltage across it, I into R. What will be R? These both are in series. I have taken total resistance R plus R G. You see here, a T given a T plus R, and dual current. Okay, and you see we, in this equation we have found that we are having two variables, one I and one R, and we have only one equation. So we found that we have to write one more equation to solve these two variables. What we did, we found the loop, closed loop, and right, and we have written the KVL in that loop. Okay. Yes. This was the only concept.